Point of order, Mr. Jonathan Edwards. Dear Clare Mr. Speaker, I'm extremely grateful to you for uh, accepting this point of order. Uh, during the debate on the second reading of the Finance Bill yesterday, it was brought to my attention that a fellow member of this House, rather than engaging with the substance of the issue being discussed, chose to make disparaging remarks about my accent. This is unfortunately not the first incident of this kind in this place. There was a well-documented incident a few weeks ago involving a Scottish Member of Parliament, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, this House is meant to be representative of all the nations, accents and backgrounds of the British state, and this kind of behaviour only serves to reinforce the privileged and exclusive perception of Westminster politics. Mocking an accent is a very serious matter, as it ultimately undermines an individual's or a group of people's identity. I would like to seek your advice as to whether this behaviour that of a member mocking an accent of another member of this House is befitting of this place. And can I put on record, Mr Speaker, that I am extremely proud to be Welsh and of my accent. Yeah. Yeah. I am very grateful to the Honourable Gentleman for his point of order and indeed to him for his courtesy in giving me notice of it. He is absolutely right <coughs> to raise the issue and not least in view of our recently expressed determination to treat everybody in this place, be that person a member or a member of staff or somebody working with members or other reasons present on the estate. Personal mockery of one another, and members come in all shapes and sizes with a wide diversity of accents, national origins and ways of speaking, is wrong and to many people it constitutes a form of bullying. Yeah. I am the last person to deprecate good humour in the way in which we interact. I may on occasion myself have caused offence by my extraordinarily ineffective mimicry, uh, for which I apologise. I have been known to seek to imitate the father of the House, the Right Honourable and Learned Gentleman, the member of Rushcliffe, who has been a friend of mine for well over 20 years. As I say, my efforts at imitating him are uh, usually pretty feeble. Uh, and they've always been undertaken in a friendly and they've always been undertaken in a and they've always been undertaken in a friendly spirit but more as change and i think it is a safe rule of thumb that people should not mimic other people let's debate the issues play the ball rather than the man or the woman, and very specifically belittling mockery, which I have had occasion in the past to raise with the powers that be in relation to particular members, is not acceptable. The Honourable Gentleman is absolutely right about this, and I hope it will not be necessary for the issue to be raised again, or for me to have to repeat what I have in good conscience just said to the Honourable Gentleman and to the House. Perhaps we can leave it there. Uh, and by, by the way, and. Um, I think he has a magnificent accent, I, and I think, and I, and I think the, and I think, the, and I think the house, I think the house is, and I think the house is proud, and I think the house is proud of the honourable gentleman because he is a very good example of someone who debates the issues but does not engage in personal attacks. I've known him for many years, and I've never heard him make a personal attack.